We on here? We will be in a second. We are live. How you doing, everybody? We are here, live, baby, live. And it's the Christmas special. Wait a minute. It's the Christmas special. Yeah. The hell are you wearing? My thug life stuff. But you're not ready for Christmas. Like, look, <clears throat> I got on like zombie gingerbread man, and I got on my antlers with my veto in the center eating pasta. And like, I'm ready for Christmas, but like, you look like you popped Shakur with less color. Listen here, Christmas is 365 days a year with Big V. But I got you this hat. No, that's good. I got. I got you this this hat. Yeah, bah humbug. All right, we bah humbug in it. That's it. Well, and with the hat, then I guess we'll just get started. Hi, I will full hand chop you in the chest like flair. Anyway, people, we gotta get our chitty chat up. So we can get this going. It's the Big Vito brand live, baby live. We're doing our Christmas special here. Hope everybody is doing good. I hope everybody is doing well. I know everybody's had their little Christmas moments so far the past couple weeks with shopping. Oh, we tried to go Christmas shopping. And more shopping and dinner preparation and all this other great stuff. Dinner preparation. But you know how it is, guys. You know, everybody is doing their thing. And uh, we're really trying to uh, get in the swing of things. I hope everybody is doing well. If you people don't know, it's the Big Vito brand on Twitter. We can always use the followers. It's the Big Vito brand on YouTube. Check it out. Subscribe. It's free. Um, uh, Dominic, I am feeling okay today. I did my first day back at rehab since I was sick. And I'm jacked as shit right now. Captain, how's it going? Tyson, how you doing? Dominic, Captain. how are you doing? How's everybody doing tonight, all right? Now, as you can see, one of us has been sick and one of us has been tanning in the Bahamas. So, you know, it, it looks good. Do I we like look it. like an interracial couple? Uh, yes. Just want to know, like, pretty sure, like, we might be an interracial couple. Remember that Seinfeld where they thought they were an interracial couple, Elaine and that guy? And they weren't. And then at the end, they were like, oh, let's get her to the gap. Yep. That's Ryan's I mean. daughter, Madalena, is here. How you doing, guys? Madalena. I love your name, Madalena. Oh, yeah. Madalena. So with everything going on, Stephen, Stephen A. Smith is here. Stephen A. Smith. How where are you getting the A from? It says right there, Stephen Smith. But where's Stephen A? Where's the A because from? Because I put the A in there. Why don't you just like. Stephen, what's your middle name? Uh -huh. Does it start with an A? If he makes uh -huh. fun of me one more time, guys, I swear I've been working out. If I have a horrible time. I have a stuffy nose. I'm getting over a cold, you jerk. Russo didn't make fun of me today. Now you're one too. Uh -huh. He's yeah. like higher up on the chain. Hi, I did a show today. It's called Team Mom. No. Oh, it's Jay. See? Stephen Jay. Jay, your Jay's been Jabba. Is it for Joseph? Vito's name is Vito Joseph. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'll get his driver's license. And I don't have a driver's license anymore, so you can't get mine. No, my middle name is Jam for Jam Master J. J for Vito's Jobber. Name. All right. I had to bring my feet up because my back is sore. I apologize. Yeah. Why do yeah. you always make fun of me? Because I have a stuffy nose. Everybody listen to me. I'm with Teen Mobs. All right, number one, dork shop. I broke my, ooh. I my like peoples, him. my peoples. People been reading my Twitter. My peoples. Oh, it's James. Stephen James Smith. I would go with Stephen A. Smith, more popular. What would the A stand for? Give him a new middle name. Astronomical. <laughs> That's not what I thought you were going to say. <sighs> well, ah. guys. well, guys. <laughs> you can see the screen in my eyes. It looks like I have like a. Like a sci-fi thing. Going What's on. your middle initial again? E? Don't start that shit again. Vito tried to tell people my, my middle name was our daughter's middle name, and he got confused. My middle name does e. not start with an E. What does it begin with? Your mama. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, is it, what does it begin with? D? Q. 
begins with D, people, for dork. No, it doesn't. My name is Noel Quinzel Harlow Lagrasso. It's D for dork. No, it's not. It's Quinzel. Oh, I'm sorry. It's N for no tan. <laughs> Hi, Harry Barnett is S here. for skin cancer. Yeah, I know. Skin cancer, I know. Harry's here in the house. Copycat Productions is here in the house. How Copycat, is that Josh? This is my Tyson's first time viewing here, live stream. Tyson, we're going to get things wrong. We're going to talk about the Christmas spirit. Hope everybody is into the Christmas spirit. This year, the big V is not in the Christmas spirit. You can tell. No, it's not because you can tell. It's just things that have been leading up to things that, you know, have been bothering me and things that have been uh, happening you know, in the world today and things that are just going on Making that, uh, you know, it's just not feeling like Christmas. And this just doesn't go for me. It goes for a lot of people out there. And I know a lot of people are, uh, you know, are feeling like, you know, it's not the Christmas. Day. What's tell us what your favorite Christmas is? Which favorite one? Christmas movie is? It's a Wonderful Life with George Bailey. Mine is... National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, although I have been liking Christmas with the Cranks because Dan Aykroyd is hysterical in that yeah. movie. We like that one. You know, and everybody in the chat is getting to know each other and talking right they here. They all so, know I mean, each other. Yeah, hey, so hey Hambone, what up? Hell yes. Cat National Jay's Lampoon's. Here. Captain is here. Captain, Captain, Captain. Captain, Captain. Captain. Hey, the doctor from Germany is here. Hello, like Germany. It. Skull on Crush. Did you see Russo's new beard? No. All right. Vince has got a, a new beard thing going on. Oh, boy. And he kind of looks like, he kind of looks like Captain Morgan. <sighs> I, I was going to tell him today, and then I forgot because sometimes stroke brain. I didn't tell him. But we'll call him when we get off the chat and tell him that I think he kind of looks like Captain Morgan. You have to watch Teen Moms to see. Guys, watch Teen Moms. No, guys. You know, as far as Why the Teen Mom like goes, that? this has been happening, okay? Just go with the flow. Pay attention. Okay? No, I can't. Like Teen I Moms is one of the new hot shows out there that's coming up on the Russo brand. It's a new podcast that they're doing for the Teen Mom people. And hopefully it will make Podcast One. Now, getting color is on Podcast One, and it is getting great reviews. It is getting great likes. You know, a lot of people are like, we're getting close to 40 downloads a week. Because... And the Rocky Johnson from India, India, Germany, England. I'm telling you, George. Ben, ben says he looks like George Clooney. I'm, so, I'm going to agree. So with everything that's going on, guys, you know, the big Vito brand is getting out there, getting colors out, getting out there. Teen Mom is starting to get out there, along with the No DQ guys, the Super Ugly Show. Josh Hinkle is out there. I just did his podcast. And he was very happy with it. Madalena says, do the housewives. Hey, listen, um, Vince talked about the housewives today. Like we're getting, we're starting to get into other um, reality shows. And I'm trying to talk Big V into taking our vacation to Colorado. But so me and Russo can watch Teen Moms together. I seen that there's somebody who says do the housewives, but like I've done that, done it already. <laughs> And um, it was good. I did it before it became a, a, a show. And um, I liked it. I really did like it. It was good. It was fun. If y'all haven't seen it, Merry Freaking Christmas with Robin Williams. You have to see it. We're going to have to check that out. Is Teen Mom worth starting from the beginning? Yes. Skip 16 and pregnant. That's a downer. Go right into the Teen Mom season one. Teen Moms, work your way through it. Then hit two then hit og vince and i hate farah we we don't like her kid and we're not kid haters we're like kid lovers but like farah's kid's not a real kid yeah you can type in that i know that's spot. what i'm doing right now pay attention to one thing thank you he is so rude today and i wore him on my bow and everything <sighs> and he's gonna be like tooting with me today really So, Vito got four locos today, which we usually drink a nice wine or 
something of that nature. That's because somebody wanted a sandwich from a specific place. Rocco and Anna's in Parksburg. In Parksburg. On Main Street. And they make the best sandwiches. So I got some sandwich delight for Noel. And I got my I got a frosty beverage, adult beverage. A frosty beverage. So it was good. And, oh, they uh, like did my little things. Josh is copycat. Four loco, Josh. You know about four loco? That's what them little teenager kids try a snitch snatch steal out of the convenience store to drink. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes we drink it. Sometimes Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Ah, you're such a vibe. You're anyway, babe. people, so let's get on with the events of today. So <laughs> getting color with had another show, uh, the Super Ugly Show, the No DQ Show, Big Josh had a show. I was on four shows this week. All of them went pretty good. We're doing our own show this week. Sorry for Tuesday. But oh, Miss Noel sorry. was not feeling good. I came home. She was out like a light. I did not want to wake her. So that's why we skipped Tuesday's show. I and didn't even wake up until I heard Vito on the No DQ show. And yeah. I was like, is he podcasting without me? Podcasting. I did a couple <laughs> podcasts. But guys, you know what? You be considerate of your partner. You do certain things like that. And you know what? You know, life is more than wrestling. Life is more than podcasting. You think of, you know, regular life first getting better doing things and um <clears throat> it's all good thank you doctor i'm glad you liked the review show did you guys like seeing bruiser on the review show today i guess so tad j we do not have <laughs> hangovers from the low four local we are he has friends that do yeah we are professionals here all right we only took a couple sips at a time you know what i'm saying we drink them slow unless we're at the legion then you drink them quick. <laughs> and the Legion is a great place to go. We have a good time there. We just had the Legion Christmas party. Oh, that was, was so week. fun. And we all, everybody had a great time. Big um, V dance with all the ladies. I dance with all the ladies. All the ladies love me. They all got a little partying Christmas gift. So if you know I'm something, something, you know, for something, something. Mm. I'm a something, something at your door. Where'd your That's Christmas okay. hat go? Mickey, put that Christmas hat on. Uh, hi. Hey, I have jingle balls. Yeah, you're a jingle. I can't really shake my head. <laughs> they told me I'm not allowed to I shake know, my head, I but know. I'll do it for you guys anyway. Anyway, people, <laughs> as we're getting here and we're doing our Christmas thing, is anybody would like to ask, <gasps> uh, did you ever work with Goldberg and WCW? And that's the Rocky Johnson. Yes, I have worked with him, I believe, in Australia. Great experience. I mean, I thought I got a hell of an ovation until he came out. And I even got goosebumps listening to him walk down to the aisle. Then it was down to business. You can catch it on YouTube. I'm sure it's Was it somewhere. a long match? Yeah, it was a long match. Great entrance. You know, the entrances were good. I like them. Oh, it was a good entrance? You got to move in? Hey, listen. <laughs> I was there. How about you? I was, um, I was Home, in watching with mom in your yeah, basement. Thank you. Because I was in high school. Because uh, I was in high school. Yes. And Guys, the first like, time the I'm a censor you. The first time I ever saw Vito, I was 12 years old. And he wrestled Bret Hart from the Intercontinental Belt, and he was Von Kress. That's right. And my sister and I hated him. Hated him. We're like, oh, the bald guy, come on. And, <laughs> and you know what they love today? They love this bald guy so much. It's pathetic. And you know what else, people? I'm swinging some young bitches. Mm, I got it like that. Are you saying that because I'm younger or you have other bitches? Because if you have <clears throat> other bitches, the walker I'm, is really her fruit. I'm, I'm swinging bitches. I've been swinging Be bitches. What do you think about Vince McMahon reviving the XFL? I think it's, um, if it's done correctly, it's a great thing. If it's done properly, it's a good thing. The man is a millionaire. He's got a right to do what he wants with his money. Um, if he does it, he does it. If he doesn't, he does not I don't have an opinion either way. you know. But if it's done correctly this time and, and people are protected from injuries and everybody benefits from it, then it's a great thing. He did so well with it the first time. Well, everybody makes mistakes. You can't bury people. Can I give because... you an opinion on the XFL? I was very young when the XFL was out, so mm. take this for what you will. 
The XFL aired two games at the same time. Well, technically not. They aired one game and ran another game at the same time on the night they came out. If you folks remember, the one had Jesse Ventura as the commentator, and the other game had Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler as the commentator. Well, the game that was on first was that that was on aired on television was so terrible. And then they switched to the other game that was much better. I think if they would have started off with the other game that was good instead of the flop game where nobody scored. Uh, guys, you know what? It, Just it is opinion. what it is. It, it happened. What are you going to do? Nobody's an expert. Every trial and error when you start a new business. You know, hey, if he does good with it, hey, great. If he doesn't do good, hey, great. You know what I mean? It's not my money. It's not your money. It's his money. Hey, my money. He's could do what he wants with it. So, I mean, you know, that's all well and good. Anybody have any questions tonight they'd like to ask? Anybody have anything they'd like to say? Now, if you don't know, the Big Vito website at bigvito.com, we have a lot of great things up there, some good merch. We have an Amazon list. Um, a lot of people have been sending some Christmas gifts, and we appreciate them very much. It's on the Amazon list if you'd like to go. <laughs> Football sucks anyway. Who cares? Cricket for life. Cricket for life. That's right. And um, – Guys, we have some uh, merchandise up there, you know, the pro wrestling tees.com slash the big veto brand. Go there, get yourself a great sweatshirt, collar and elbow. We have signature series. Guys, go get us yourself a great sweatshirt uh, shirt over there. Um, <clears throat> we have a couple of jackets for sale. And then we have our Amazon wish list. So if anybody likes to purchase anything, there you have it. If you'd like to do appearances or anything else, contact me at uh, the big veto brand. You know, Big Vito, Big Vito at, at BigVito.com. Big and we can talk about stuff. We can make an appearance at your show. You know, and it would be great. I dig the attitude. Ernesto. 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 Vale. Ernesto Cordoba. Cordoba. So like <laughs> I was saying, getting along with the show. Um, They're cricket crazy. I've never seen cricket. I know Jiminy Cricket. Cricket, cricket is a great sport. It's a tough sport. Uh, it's along the lines of rugby, which I love. It's very physical. If I had a chance to play rugby, I probably think I would have liked it. And I think it would have been uh, definitely up my alley, you know, mono and mono sport, man to man, you know, full contact. And uh, being that I never played it, I kind of like, you know, I wish it was around here in the States and it was a popular sport. I definitely think I would have gave it a try. Ernesto says, Thug Life. We love Thug Life. That's right. Thug we Life, love right. Tupac if you and Biggie. If you didn't know people this week, I was in my Mercedes with the top down Thug Life in it. That's right. Big V Thug Life. If you don't know about a Mercedes and the top down, you know, it doesn't have to be 80 degrees, 70 degrees. It could be 60 or a little 50, you know, but the secret to being in, a, in your Mercedes, you have the windows up. If it's that cold, you turn the heat on, the heat blows to you. And then in the Mercedes, you have the heat, heated seats and the heat in the neck, it keeps you warm. So being you have your thug life, your thug life hat on, your sweat jacket on, you're going in and everybody's looking at, wow, look at that guy in the Mercedes, that's cool. And it was pretty cool because everybody was looking and saying, yo, man, what the hell are you doing? I'm freezing my ass off here. I said, not me. I was good. I was good. My antler spent. Vito, who would you like to wrestle from today's guys? There are a bunch of people I'd like to wrestle. Let's see. I mean, the top of the list, you have to say Brock Lesnar would be one of the guys I'd like to wrestle. <clears throat> you know, hard hitting. You know, strong, big, not a slouch looking guy. Um, another guy who I'd like to wrestle out of today's guys. I would have liked to wrestle uh, Kurt Angle one-on-one -on -one when I was wrestling full-time and in prime shape because that would have been a great match for me. That's kind of something I really wanted. Uh, who else would have, of today's guys? Um, Randy question. Orton today. I guess I would, I would like to wrestle Randy Orton. Uh, Vito, pardon me. It's been asked to death, but over the years, you and Noel have been friends with Steve Richards. He has always seemed like a good guy in any story. Steve Richards, a class act. He is a grand slam winner like Big Vito. He's been to all the major companies. And you know what? When you're in the WWE, WCW, ECW, TNA, starting out in the WWF, you know, you've been there. You've done that. You've been to all the major companies. Stevie Richards, a nice man. 
a nice guy, does the DDP yoga, tries to help people every day. We still keep in touch. Good people, Stevie Richards. We like DDP. Stevie Richards and DDP. So uh, I love DDP. He makes me feel better. Which is good. <laughs> now, guys, getting along with what I'm saying, like as far as wrestling today's guys, um, you know, I mean, AJ Styles, I guess, you know, is really not my in that kind of I mean, but I'm more the rugged style. A Braun Strowman would be like, you know, like wrestling, you know, I mean, you can only do so much with a Braun Strowman. He's a monster. I guess it's Seth Rollins because he's athletic and we could do a lot of things, you know, which I think would be a good match, a good program. Uh, Dolph Ziggler would be somebody I'd like to wrestle. <sighs> really, I mean, there's a lot of quality guys in there. I'm sorry if I'm not mentioning them all, but I know I would have a match with uh, a good match with a lot of people in there. Uh, go to St go Stevie and DDP. Yay, we love Stevie. And DDP. All right, wrestling no more. Let's ask the serious questions. Are you ready? What did you get me for Christmas? Nothing. Shit. I got you presents for Christmas, even though you said don't. I did anyway. Guys, I'm going to teach you a little secret about. Because I don't listen. I'm going to teach you a little secret about Christmas. You know when you have someone in your life and they try to be a wise guy? And this happened to me one time. Now I'm just going to share the story. I said, hey, what would you like for Christmas this year? Oh, this wasn't me. You better. And they told me, well, I do your, I do your laundry. Well, you do kind of live here part-time, so it's nice of you to help out. So I'd like laundry detergent. And... I said, okay, is there anything else? I said, yeah, coal, because you always say I'm being mean. I said, okay, no problem. So come Christmas, there were two boxes underneath the tree. And the lady walked in, she says, where are all my gifts? I said, you only asked for two things. She goes, what do you mean? I said, what did, I said, you only said you wanted a couple things for Christmas. And I did exactly as you said. First thing she opens was a bottle of detergent. She goes, you really got me detergent? I said, yeah. I said, you said you wanted laundry detergent because that's what you asked for for Christmas. Second box was a box of coal. She goes, you really got me coal. What did you ask for? You asked for laundry detergent and you asked for coal. This is what I got you. But I was kidding. I said, you didn't give me a list. What did you ask for? I asked for laundry detergent and coal. Okay, so that's what you got. Can't say I didn't give you exactly as you wanted for Christmas. True story. This was not Not me. a lie. This is not. Because if it was, he would Yeah, if it wasn't, she'd have to accept it because the other one did too. No, I wouldn't have. I got it like that, right? Anyway. I wouldn't have accepted that. Yeah, I know. You'd I know. have accepted a one-way ticket out the door. I really wouldn't care because where would I be going? I-95. I-95. I'd be so. going to I-95 on Tampa. That's right. I'd Tampa be at Hogan's Tampa. Beach That's getting right. the sun. That's right. How do you say? Get in, get in the sun. <laughs> I'd be right back in Tampa, Florida, people, without a doubt, without even blinking an eye. So Billy's I, where it's at. The food's better here. Yeah, I know. Okay. You got no Tony Luke's there? Mm-hmm. You really didn't get me nothing for Christmas? So, anyway. Boss, wait, you wait, really didn't get me for Christmas? Can you finish the story, please? Oh, please go Thank right ahead. So, when she got the gifts, she got upset. She sat there. She said, I can't believe you did this to me. I said, this is what you asked for. So, guys, when your ladies ask for something ridiculous, and they ask for it, it's on a Christmas list, you get it for them. Because at the end of the day, they could never say you didn't give me what I asked for. Okay? So, guys, let alone with that, I let her suffer for a little bit. Then I brought her out a real presence. And then all of a sudden she was in love again. So, I mean, but she was in love before. And I don't think presents should dictate how your Christmas is going to go. You take what you get. It's a gift from the heart. If you don't like it. I say thank you very much. Huh? No. 
He said he gets what's on the list. I just asked for another dog. It's not for me. It's for Bruiser. Not I think Bruiser wants another dog. Guys, let's take a vote. Let's take a vote. Cool. Who thinks that Bruiser should get his own dog for Christmas? Nobody. I, vote, yeah. I bet everybody. Let's take a vote, guys. Let's vote. See it happen. Go poll. Riot Starter, I'm, I'm a ginger. I'm super jealous of your tan, even in the winter. Best veto impression ever. That's me. Thank you very much. Riot Starter, no dog. You're absolutely right. No dog, no veto. Up. Steven Smith, get the dog. Stephen a. a. Smith. Stephen A. Smith, we're not getting a dog. We already have a dog, but, I mean, the dog needs a dog. <sighs> Hambone. Get the dog. Thank you, Hambone. The happy. dog needs a dog. The dog needs a dog. Guys, let's put it this way. I'm going to like explain it to you. I'm using the word splain. Okay. If another dog comes in this house, it's going to be a one man show. Thug life. Well, one man. Bruiser shouldn't be the only one getting a dog. You all should get your own dog each. That's wonderful. I think that Bruiser is lonely. You saw him hanging around back here. He was like, man, I could just use like a dog, dog. What up? I'm what a Rottweiler dog dog? guy. I get a Rottweiler. 100 pounds and over. But at this particular time in my life, I do not want any more responsibilities. Okay, so that's yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. Dog, cat. We can't have a cat because Vito I hates cats. Hate he, cats with a passion. He let me get a cat when my back got hurt so the cat would keep me company. And then the cat had a broken back. Well, we brought it home. We had to put it to sleep. So that will be the last ever cat that we have. I'm not getting that. So I'm good with it. We already have a pet. We're good. We're plus we're, we're we're planning on moving. So I was really just kidding. We don't need another dog. Bruiser's like my son. So okay, Vito. Let's do a dog for each member of the family and Bruiser. No, two dogs is you know, Madalena. Two dogs is rough. You're absolutely right. But Bruiser's not really like a dog. He's like a dude. I really just don't need the extra hassle and the responsibility. So I'm good with it. I'm good. Bruiser serves his purpose here. He has a job. We should tell him about what my mom says about pets. My mom doesn't just have pets. She calls them employees. So they live in the country, so she has cats because she's afraid of mice. So they're employees. They do their job. They keep their home. Employees. I guess so. Why you look mad? Why you look all mad? Why you look mad? No, ma I'm just looking at my tan. It's very nice. Why don't you go lay in a tanning bed some more? I don't lay in a tanning bed. Why don't you go stand in a tanning bed some more? I stand there with a group of ladies. It's good. We all tan. Group tanning, guys. You talk group a tanning. lot about ladies. And, um, oh, Bruiser's a boxer from well, a championship line we're not, of boxers. We're not, we're not pit bull people, guys. Yeah, we're pit bulls are okay. I don't mean against pit bulls. people. But we're Rottweiler people. Firehouse Davis has a pit bull that is adorable. And the best tan on YouTube. You got that right. Favorite Christmas Christmas memory from when you were a kid. Do you guys have kids? Yes, we have two kids. They are adults, though. They are old people. <laughs> so it's mostly just us. Because they're at school. Favorite memory as a kid. Hmm. Uh, I could say when I got a giant pinball machine, a drum set, the Batmobile. Um, I don't know. There's some other good ones in there. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. I don't really remember gifts. We're all good. I know I got like a little stuff like that I wanted that I asked for, but my mind's a little touchy. But Christmas when everybody was still around. No, I, you know what? And it isn't about gifts. You know, how about people? How about this one? I'm not saying that, you know, my mother and father were the perfect parents or the perfect, you know, anything. But seeing my father home on Christmas, that probably brought a happy, brought made me happy more than anything. Having your parents together on the holidays, that's pretty cool. Anybody who's got parents out there, mom and dad, you should go out there and see your parents and be with them. Make a phone call. <clears throat> go visit them. It's a priority because one day they're not going to be here. And then when they're not here, you're going to say, I wish I could have did this. I wish I could have did that. I wish I could have done the other thing. 
My mom has been gone for over 30 years, my father over 10. And there isn't a day I don't wish I could see or talk to them once on a Christmas or just to have that phone call. You know, when you're having a tough time, who do you talk to, your mom and dad? So, I mean, you know, it happens when you need that in your life. So, guys, cherish your parents. They're not here forever. Anybody that doesn't pay attention to their parents, you really have a screw loose. And when they're gone, you're going to say, oh, you're going to cry. You're going to do this. And, like, you know what? Your parents are going to be like, I don't want to hear it. Also, too, there's other people that help raise you. So, I want to say happy birthday to my pop in heaven. Uh, how old were you when you first tan? I came out tan. <laughs> Top down one. And you can put it on Twitter. Vito came out tan. <laughs> He's tan all over. That was going to be the next question. <laughs> Harry, Harry Barnett's contemplating getting another Labrador. What do you think? I want my dog to have her own adopted pup. Yes. Do it and let me name it. <laughs> Harry your dog is so good. cute, Harry. Is your dog feeling better? Harry's dog had to have some dental stuff done the other day. Vito, any advice on how I can get a tan being a ginger? You want to know the secret lotion that I use, guys? I'm going to spill it out here on this great podcast. It is Lubriderm. People would not think it. People don't believe it. They say, how the hell do you get such a great tan, dark and natural? It's Lubriderm, guys. Five ninety seven for the big bottle. Don't go spending your money on all these fancy, you know, fancy, uh, you know, uh, tanning lotions. It's Lubriderm. Has <laughs> cocoa butter in it. Has olive. Has the oil. You're gonna do good. When you were um, when you were in the WWE and you were down in, I guess you were in Deep South. Tanning Jamundo said that you were in the tanning place with them and they all had the tanning lotion and you walked in and called them a bunch of marks and pulled out your Lubriderm. Like, what are yeah. you guys, a bunch of marks? What are you guys, <laughs> a bunch of marks? Out? Sitting here <laughs> spending your money on all these. And this is a true story, not a lie. It's true. I said, I said, Vito, what do you use to get tanned? I said, did you guys just spend all your money on a thing talking to those pretty girls? He goes, yeah, man, this is good. How do you get your tan good? I said, Lubriderm. They said, are you serious? Loop it down. This is what works. Hey, Harry said I can name his new dog. Yay. I will not name it Vito. All right. Yeah, there's too many V-dogs in there. V-dog. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because we thug life in it. Vito, why do you never age? This is bullshit. Goddamn right it is. Right? You know, guys, it's right. because I take care of myself and, like, you know, I, I wash my face properly. I put the proper lotion on. I put a face mask on. I take care of my skin. So that it's great, eh? Here's the thing. I think I think that what happened was the ages are kind of like reversing. Like, see, Vito's older than me, but like I'm out here walking with walkers and having stroke, and he's like sucking the youth out of me. Look at him. No. Yeah, it's I'm like a vampire not. situation. Yeah, that's. I've been looking Hell like this is. my whole life, so what are you talking about? I was like this before you. Huh. <laughs> you know what? You're really testing me. Testing you for what? Now I got to think what that meant. Because you're a dork? I know. Tad J. Ha ha. I think Noel keeps him young. Now, I've been young my whole life. Yeah, I Thank do, you. son. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do. Guys. guys. Mm-hmm. If somebody just said, Vito, how come you don't age and you'd be looking like this, that means you'd be pimping young hoes your whole life. You know what I mean? I got it like that. You mean you'd be pimping young hoes? Be pimping young hoes. You'd be, you be pimping ice hoes? It's winter. It's Christmas. It's winter in Staten Island. Right. I've been pimping ice hoes. I've been pimping Christmas It's Christmas hoes. time in Hollis, Queens. Mom's cooking chicken at collard greens. I've dated a few of those hoes. Ice hoes? No, the collard green girl. Oh, the collard green hose? Yeah. I never had a collard green hoe before. Ice hose. Yeah. What am I talking about? <laughs> I don't have any hoes. Uh, I'm a nice girl from keep, Philadelphia. Keep keep joking. It's good. You're really showing it's, a lot of it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the drinking. I forgot to take my medicine today. No medication. This is what it's like. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what I got to put up with, guys. Luck I'm me. sorry. <laughs> Am I that different than I was from previous years? Am I that different? 
Am I that different? Am I that different? <laughs> Am I that different than I was before? I get enough. Okay. I'm not answering. I'll answer you later. I believe the catchphrase came from me. I gotta like that, son. Gotta like that. You know, once and for all, who came up with that? I got it like that catchphrase. You were disco. <sighs> So, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. Who uh, who was texting you there? Debbie. Debbie who? Reese. Oh, Debbie Reese. Uh, Debbie Reese. Texted me. All right, guys. I'll answer you when I'm done, Dad. Anybody watch Teen Mom today? Spilling Teen Mom tea. It's been out for like two hours. Let's hit it. I'm in a contest. Got to beat Vito. I want to be on podcast one. P O D C A S T. O N E. <laughs> I want to make sure I spelled it correctly. O N E. One. I guess one. Really I didn't take my meds today, guys. Stroke anyway. meds are important for your brain. Uh, yeah. They're important. Right. Oh, we're such a cute couple. I think so too. I always wanted to be part of a cute couple. Oh, did you hear my back pop? <laughs> Santa for Christmas, can you please send Vito a good attitude instead of a thug one? Thank you. Love, Noel. Santa, we ain't doing business this year. The hell with it. We're good. You ain't giving me no gifts? All I wanted was a mermaid blanket. Oh, I only asked for one thing, guys. Like, I don't know what you guys all... Oh, look. It's easy to misspell podcast one. Some people spell it a different way. Um, all I asked for was a mermaid blanket because as everybody knows, I say, because I don't walk, I'm a mermaid because they don't walk either. And I didn't get one apparently. So I'm going to have to go get my own. But people ask for no four locos for Christmas. <laughs> yep. Blame it on the four loco. You got that right, Madalena. Blame it's it on the four loco. It's not the four loco. It's because I... I didn't take you see who's bites. pimp, and you see who's a wimp. What we is, know deal. What's this hair today? A big hair. And anybody wants to use that on Twitter, go ahead. We know who's pimp, and we know who's a wimp. I walk with a limp. Because you're a gimp? The winner. I can only put my arm up so far. You got to work with Guys, me. did you know what I call her Cripple H at times? It's Cripple H. <sighs> You said that to the general public. Said, Cripple H right here. Cripple H. Do you guys know what I call Vito? Feel free to call him it. Bunny. I really don't care. Call Vito Bunny. He's a fluffy bunny. He's just a fluffy bunny. He's a honey bunny. Fuck life, bunny. Because I'd be hopping on shit. Oh, I was going to try to give you bunny ears, but my arms don't. Uh, uh, just high. relax. Okay, full loco. Oh, my God. Bunny, he, and he made that up because he told me I was his honey That's bunny. Terrible. He's so cute. He's so cute, babe. Gosh. So what is everybody getting their significant other for Christmas? I got Vito some banging ass gifts. Not really. I got him some nice stuff, but we're taking a trip. Yep, copycat. And that is gold. Thank you very much. I've been calling Cripple H for three years. Call Ryan Satin. Vito's bunny. You know, <laughs> Crips, call it Crips. I do a Crip walk because I'm fucked like that, son. Fluffy Bunny Vito. It's on. Had to call me Crip Blade in public. Now you're going to be a Fluffy Bunny forever. Before that, I used to call him Muffins because he loves muffins. Yeah, everybody knows I love the muffin, all right. Now I call it the cookie. Uh, 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 <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So what was I saying? Christmas? So anyway, people get back to the tan. And then, you know, did you know how you keep your teeth white? We were talking about that to the, yesterday, how, you know, getting teeth whitener. Oh, yeah, we were talking. I have two different types of toothpaste I use. I have the one with baking soda. Then I have a teeth white polish, which is very good. I go every six months to get a cleaning. And my teeth... Look white as can be. I'm afraid to smile near you because I know I have white teeth, but yours are like glowingly white. Anybody who wants the secret, that's right, the white teeth. <laughs> so, 
Can I tell a tooth story? Can I tell a tooth story? A what? Can I tell a tooth story? About the time when I tricked you? Which time you tricked me? About the appointment. That wasn't it, but that wasn't funny. That was a great one, guys. Go ahead, tell that one. Want to hear Chris? That story? wasn't the one I was gonna that tell. That was a great story. I'll tell this that story. All right. So the I don't I can't drive. Obviously, everybody knows that because the five O came took my license. But before that, I couldn't drive. And Vito goes, "I got a big surprise for you." And I was like, really? He's like, we're going to go somewhere. And like my stupid ass is like, dad, he's taking me to Disney. And I'm all excited thinking I'm going somewhere good. So I hobble my ass out to the car. We get in the car. He goes, I made you a dentist appointment and took me to the dentist. And guess who had to get their teeth drilled? This guy. But revenge is sweet because the next time we went to the dentist, my teeth were perfect. And guess whose pin was sticking out of his tooth they put in there? Big Vito. I guess you had to fix that. I didn't cry and I thanked him and said, now I look beautiful again. So Vito got in the car yesterday on the way to rehab and told me how beautiful he was. Instead of like looking at me and we're like, babe, you're so beautiful. I love my wife. He seriously got in the car, caught a glimpse of himself in the rear view mirror, looked me in the face and goes, I am so beautiful. This is what I live with, guys, every day of my life. Ladies. Yeah, it. see, Crips, I got got, see? I did get got, but it's all right. Ladies, okay, all right. you hear all the complaints on this show from the Four Loco and everything, but if I get my release, would you please smarten her up in a DM or, you know, text her or tell her? Here's the deal. He's yeah. not getting his release. He's getting traded to SmackDown. I'll get traded. Look, you want to trade me? Mm -hmm. It would be the best trade somebody ever made. Believe me. Oh, I'm sure. It will be. Oh, I'm sure. You're so tan. You look like Jinder Mahal. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm ready. Could be working on the secret comeback. Tan. You know, as long as you have the TV tan, you're ready. What are you TV tanning for? Uh, nothing. Podcast one. O N E. <laughs> tan for podcast one. Look at this tan. Tan for Colorado. And where are we going to take our trip? Seriously, like I put a thing out asking I, people I, about I, our we trip. Have, we haven't decided yet. Well, let's let's talk about it. Where do you feel like taking your trip? Someplace warm, someplace nice, someplace I don't have to do anything. Tanny muffins. <laughs> Tanny muffins came from Copycat Productions. <laughs> this Josh. <laughs> I thought, and Stephen A. Smith said, I thought Jinder was a great champ, but I guess I'm in the minority. Well, I mean, Jinder, he had the money invested in him. Whether you think he was good or bad, that's your opinion. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. I mean, he did try. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is a good place. We were looking at houses there, remember? You know? Guys, I like the sun. I like the beach. I like the water. I like a tiki bar. I like mojitos. I like volleyball at four o'clock. You know, I, I like can't beach play life. volleyball. My walker doesn't get through the sand. I love jet skiing. Vito almost drowned me on a jet ski. Why don't you tell that story, Vito? Why don't you tell the story, Vito? Vito, are you wrestling anytime soon? No. Um, am I wrestling anytime soon? I really don't know. Um, it's up for discussion right now. I'm talking to Daniel Bryan about it, actually. And uh, when he comes back, it might consider coming back. So until then, you know, we have to just uh, play it by ear right now. Steven, Colorado, because Vince and I were talking on Team Mom today, and I was saying that we would come and visit him because we were trying to take a vacation. And he said, I would love if you guys came out and visit. So that's why I said Colorado, so we would go see and the good But doctor, we could do that anytime. The good doctor asked, would you do a manager gimmick if you were given a good opportunity? Yes, I would be a great manager, great mouthpiece. There are a few places where I think I'd actually do good as a manager. One would be Carmella on SmackDown to handle her Money in the Bank uh, briefcase. Um, the other would be to work with Enzo, which would be something really good. And as far as somebody else needing a manager. You and Enzo together, I would 
I would need a, oh, I don't know what I would need, a break. It would be good. Uh, yeah. Uh, the other thing would Like a be, dream come true. The other thing, who else could I be manager for that would be serious? You know who needs a manager, guys? Nia Jack. I think that's why they're going to put her with Enzo. Although she can talk. Have you heard yeah, her she online? She can talk, but I think the presence of a manager and her being that that kick-ass kind of woman, and I think she don't need to do any talk, and she just needs to take care of business. Hambone says Enzo's hilarious. He is seriously my favorite entertainer yep, on sure. wrestling. I have the jacket, the shirt. Like, I love Enzo. He reminds me of someone. That's good. My favorite, my favorite person ever. All right, guys, we are going to call it a night. Hope Wonder every, why. Hope everybody is good. <laughs> this is the Big Vito brand signing off. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. First, we're going to do the Christmas. We'll come back for the New Year. Catch us on Twitter at the Big Vito brand. Catch us here on YouTube. Subscribe at the Big Vito brand. ProWrestlingTees.com slash the Big Vito brand. Guys, there's some great t shirts. Collar and elbow. Use the Big Vito brand. Um, Code, get 10% off. Go to bigveto.com. We have some great items for sale. There's a nitro jacket. There is the Skull Von Crush jacket. Make an offer. It's yours. Merry Christmas. <laughs> we have an Amazon list out there for the people who'd like to send gifts because we don't take donations. We don't accept money. Oh if you'd like to send a gift, it's more than appreciated. There's a pretty cool thing there. We are not getting a dog. Yeah. All right, but we'd like to sit here and wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Merry Hope Christmas. Everybody has a great, great Christmas, and we will see you next Thursday, all right? Want to sign out here? Peace out, people. Don't forget to jingle your balls. Merry Christmas. <laughs>